They are led by Solomon Asante, one of five players in USL Championship history to have 50 goals and 50 assists. San Antonio team who loves the direct approach. Yes, they might have four in the midfield, but they tend to be really vertical. So if they can use that horizontal nature um, in which they play, that they're going to be successful. Ja'Cory Hayes out top, Shannon Gomez drives it on goal and parried away by the keeper Tim Trilk. Not a bad look there from Shannon testing the keep early on. And back through the middle of the park. Sebastian Velasquez upfield, Cam Lindley, a former SAFC midfielder, drives it across and it's put into the back of the net by Jack Blake. The you know, former San Diego Loyal midfielder. It's a perfect feed from Cam Lindley, and Jack Blake drives it in, and Indy 11, 10 minutes in, is up one goal. They want to drive it across, and they want that kind of daylight in front of the goal, and SAFC just handed it right over to him. But what a great job of just having that composure. Damrod coming along for the ride. Asante fills the gap. Asante gives it a go, punched away. SAFC is not showing up in true form here. Hernandez, headed, punched away by Trilk. Maybe I spoke too soon, Dan. Could have been successful. Quinzati, Asante, the step, Asante, the cutback. Asante with the left, doesn't come through. Robbie Dambrot with a step on Shannon Gomez. Martinez overlapping on the wing, trying to return into the middle. It'll drop down just to the edge of the box. Velasquez has got Asante to his right. Asante across, directed, punched away at the last moment by Marsman. Denies a goal for Martinez. Asante right down Broadway. And it's off here to Martinez, drops it to Blake, and Jack Blake off the bar with the rebound is put home, and Indy 11 is up two goals. Sebastian Guenzotti makes it two for the visitors here in the first half at Toyota Field. Fantastic work again. You can see the patience of Indy 11 as they move the ball side to silly disorganizing SAFC on the defensive side. And then, of course, a wide open look there at the net, followed up. Still another 90 seconds or so remaining in added time. Can SAFC cash in? And that's by Loney. It goes down to the box. And San Antonio awarded a penalty. And a red. A red card. To Budani. Or is it a yellow? It's a yellow. It's a yellow. Okay, yellow card. Patino to the spot, drives it past him, Trilkin in, and San Antonio's on the board. It's a 2-1 game. What an incredible PK taken by the ultimate professional Patino. Outswinger in this instance, drives this to the back post. He's paying itself, it's past Marsman and in. It's a third goal for Indy 11, Adrian Dispay. Puts it into the back of the net, and the visitors restore their two-goal lead, 3-1 here in the 53rd minute. Absolute dagger to the heart there for Marsman. So close. This one, we'll have a look at it. What a great service in. Anytime it starts getting bumped around there, it's hard to handle. Back to Jack Blake and Guenzotti. Pressure coming, dispossessed. Hernandez off the back heel. Hernandez drives it on, trout the rebound, it's free, and Tanio Awashi puts it in. And it's Tani to save the day. We almost half expected it after his last. It's like an injury there. Yeah, it's Nathan who got uh, stood up. And now a foul here whistled and a, a yellow to Jack Blake in the 61st minute. Fifth player to go into the books tonight. Let's see how things change here with him in the mix. Lawashe off the crossbar. Oh, inches away. Here's Zuhir. It's a good ball toward the back post, headed off the crossbar. The rebound is in. The equalizer for Fabian Garcia in the 88th minute, and we're level at three. Dan, you called it. Something tells me this playoff game might go into extra time.
next weekend. <laughs> well, that, that would follow the path of what has been